We love e-bikes here at CNET. And right now we're gonna share three bikes that we really like this year. The Utopia, which is short for Urban Utopia, the Superstrata, and the Bulls Iconic Evo TR1. So here we go. We're gonna start with the Utopia. It's the lightest bike on this list, and that's because it's fully carbon fiber, fork, frame, seat post, and even the carbon belt drive. And that allows the bike to come in at a nice, sweet 30 plus pounds. Why is that a big deal for an e-bike? Because most of them are about 50 to 60 pounds, which is not ideal for anyone who lives in a walk-up. But it's also integrated with a lot of technology. It has what they call the smart bar, which has a biometric fingerprint that allows you to turn the bike on. It has integrated front and rear lights. And another cool aspect, it has signal lights that project on the ground left and right, which is really great for nighttime riding. It also supports voice commands. Why would this come in handy? Let's say you're out, it's nasty, it's raining. You don't want to look down or fidget around for a left, right. You can hold the button, you can scream out left turn and it'll project the signal light left or right turn, it'll project the signal light right. You can even hold the button and say power off. The Utopia has an Android and iOS app that allows you to customize some of the features such as horn sounds, also track the bike's location, arm and disarm the alarm on the bike and run a diagnostics update firmware. It also gives you your total distance traveled. The display on the smart bar is bright enough to see in direct sun. It gives you the battery level and speed being traveled. In addition to that, it can give you turn-by-turn -turn directions from your mobile device without having it mounted to the bike itself. Head northeast on Lafayette Street, then turn right onto East 8th Street. When it comes to power, the Utopia has a 250 watt motor, four levels of power assist, and will assist the bike up to 20 miles per hour. The bike is easy to ride because of its lightweight without any assist at all. And in terms of range, that will all depend on the rider's size, weight, terrain, and even winds can affect that as well. The bike retails for $2,200, which I think is great for a bike pack with so many features like this one, especially if you live in a walk-up, that 30-pound frame <laughs> will make a difference over time. Next up is the Superstrata. This makes the list because not all body types are the same. Some of us have long legs, short torsos, long torso, short legs. That's where the Superstrata comes in. This bicycle frame is 3D printed to fit you specifically. It is as unique as the individual who rides it. And another thing you can do is you can customize the paint color, your choice between sport or urban. It comes with also three different tire types. You can get like a hybrid tire type or one strictly for the road or one for off-road. And then you go to the colors. You can color the main part of the bike one color and the accent on the rear another. But they also offer premium choice that does Ultraman, which is a red and white finish, or for the Lux, you get the Kryptonite series, which is Kryptonite green, red, or black. The motor that powers it is a 250 watt motor. In addition to that, you can get a single gear or multiple gear. The model that we got in the test is a 10 speed. Unfortunately, the frame was not configured to my size because I got an early release. Once your order is complete, you will be then put in a queue and when it starts printing, you will be allowed to view your bike being printed. This bike makes a list because it's fully customized to the rider. Nothing makes something more personal than having it made just for you. The bike looks beautiful, it rides beautiful, and it feels great because it was made for you. Now with that said, it comes at a premium price, starting at $4,000. Last but not least is the Bulls Iconic Evo TR1. This one is the hybrid. This is for the daily commuter, the weekend warrior. This can do it all. Front and rear air suspension, hydraulic disc brakes, a drop seat. Why drop seat? Why not? I sit at the light, I drop that seat. I'm like, ah, oh. and then when the light turns green, I pop it back up and I shoot and I go. It's also powered by the Boss CX motor system, which puts out 85 Newton meters of torque. This new motor system you find in a lot of e-mountain bikes, but it works very well in this particular bike. You've got multiple levels of assist. You've got Eco, Tour, Auto. Auto, what's auto? Auto is powered by a gyroscope. The bike will automatically add more assist or decrease depending on your elevation of the bike. This bike does it all. 
In addition, the rear swing arm has a rack that makes it easy for those who want to carry their lunch into work to do so. The frame is built of aluminum, so this bike isn't as light as the first two that we mentioned. This one comes in weighing at about 66 pounds. The Kiox 300 display gives you everything at your fingertips. Total uptime, speed, battery level, you name it, it does it. This bike makes a list because it can handle abuse. I've taken it downstairs, on curbs, off curbs, and it just keeps going. The fenders keep the mud off of me. I go on road, off road. It is the delight to ride. It starts at $6,600. There you have it, our top three bikes, the Ertopia, the Super Strata, and the Bulls Iconic Evo TR1. Be sure to click like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.